Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a snake related video. My snake, um, Noelle. So I'm wanting to upgrade her enclosure here because I've had her in this small container um, with these locks since the day I got her. I got this literally for like $4.99 at Walmart just so I'd have something to put her in. Um, and by the way, I know in my last video of my snake, I said it was a boy and they sexed it at the pet shop. Well, they didn't know that I knew how to sex snakes and they lied to me. Because <laughs> two days later, I sexed her myself and found out she's a female. I mean... You can try to correct me if I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure she's a female. Where'd you go? Are you hiding from me? Are you hiding from me? He's already digging. Okay, so, and I'll show you what I mean. The two different ways that you can sex them. The first one's not always accurate, but it's a good indicator if it's a female or not. Um, so where her little anal vent is, let me zoom you, which is right there. See how it kind of tapers in really thin very quickly right here? That's how you know it's a female because they have no um, sex organs to need that space, so it tapers in quickly. And the males, it's going to be a lot thicker all the way down before it tapers, and hers goes down pretty thin. So that's one indicator that I was like, oh, she might be a female. And the second, which they never like for you to do, but <laughs> is to try to push the hemipenes out. Um, not everybody can do this. Do not try to do this if you don't know what you're doing. I've done it on an adult snake before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Nine times out of ten, they are going to make a mess on you, so make sure you have a towel just in case because you might push out something. So you just take your fingers like this and kind of push and roll and see how let me try to zoom see how it's just fleshy nothing's coming out it's just kind of like pink right there but nothing's actually coming out that's how you know it's a female if it was a male there would be these little long red things they kind of like look like little two antennas that would pop right out and those are called hemipenes if it's a male but females there's not going to be anything there so yeah that was another indicator that it was a female because no hemipenes popped out and for you people who say because i've heard a couple people especially my family say you can't sex a snake this small that young, yes you can. Um, I, I have been following Brian Barcheck and his crew for years and years and years. And him and Lori and Eric and all them have showed on their little tiny babies, even smaller than her. And they're showing that they're male and female. So that's how I learned how to do it myself. So <laughs> you can sex a baby snake this small. How else would they be able to know what's male or female before they ship it to you or label them? I mean, you can tell. It's actually easier to tell on a baby corn snake than it is on an adult corn snake. Because some corn snakes won't let you pop them. Uh, because, like, nothing will come out when you do that. They just won't let you. Um, so, I'm pretty sure she's a female, which is okay because she's the sweetest thing ever. I mean, just look at that little face. She's sweet. 
So let's give this little baby a better and bigger enclosure. And we'll close her up real quick. And we are switching her to this bin, which is just a little bit bigger. It's not overly big where she's going to feel crowded, but it's big enough to where she's got room for everything she needs. And so I'm just using Aspen bedding. Because I think that Aspen bedding is one of the best you can use for corn snakes in my personal opinion. This should be enough. And I have these two pieces of driftwood that I might, I know I'm going to use this one, I don't know about this one yet. Um, this one's a very weird shaped one, it kind of looks like it has a cave under it, so I want to use that. This is going to be her warm side. I just kind of want to, in a way, bury it. And then keep this side, because there's kind of a little hole here. I want to kind of let her be able to get into there, too. So that would be a cute little hive for her. And then I also have this rock hide that I got from PetSmart. It was in the fish section, but I thought that would be the perfect little hide. It has a bottom to it. <coughs> and I'm going to stick that one over here on the cool side. In case she wants to rest in the cool spot. Put a little bedding inside there. I'm going to put this a little bit more. And then this, um, even though having a snake in a bin does help the humidity, I will not be spraying the bin down to keep it moist because that they do like the dry aspen bedding. Uh, corn snakes are more used to drier climates than anything else. But if she does need some moisture to shed her skin, I have um, applied her with a little moist box. And all this is is literally, <laughs> it's the container, the Timberline containers for the mealworms I get for my geckos. Um, and I end up with a bunch of these, so I just cut a little hole in it. And I used Repti Moss and just spray it down so it's nice and moist in there. And that's big enough she can go inside there if she needs to. So I'm going to put that. Right there in the middle. And then I'm going to take her water bowl. Which definitely needs to be rinsed out. And I'll be right back so I can do that. Okay, so I'll put some fresh water in her bowl. I'm just going to put that on the side here. Just like that. And that should be good. Now you can put more things in for her, for them to climb on, like more driftwood, like right here, or Something like that. Because corn snakes do like to climb. They're very adventurous, curious. She's hiding again. So here she is. See how she likes it.
He's so cute. Um, I do have holes drilled in the lid of this, in case you were wondering. So she does. She is gonna have some air getting in there. Um, another quick little tip I wanted to put in there. Um, I do this for my geckos. I have one for my geckos. Um, I don't know if any of you watching have ever ate the, well, pretty much any kind of ramen noodles bowls. But the chicken teriyaki kind, I, f I think it's like chow mein or something like that. They come in these black containers. They make great dark hides for, for reptiles. Um, I've got one for my gecko. I made this one for her when she gets bigger. Um, but yeah, those make great hides if you're looking for something easy because they're dark. She's just exploring in there. I think she'll be quite happy in there. Oh, there she goes in that hide. Checking it out. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.